vaccines are intended to prevent infection. So you were given either a weakened form of the virus or a killed form of the virus, or maybe even just a piece of the virus, like some of the um, glycoproteins on the surface of the virus. You get exposed to that to train your immune system so that when you actually encounter the virus, your immune system is able to immediately respond and you never actually get infected. So vaccines are about prevention of infection. Antiviral drugs are about treating infection. Um, typically, antiviral drugs won't actually cure an infection. Um, they may combine with your immune system to, um, like we have a drug for influenza that if you take it early on when symptoms, when you first get symptoms for influenza, it can shorten the course of the disease. But I wouldn't say that drug cures the infection. I'd say your immune system takes care of the infection and the drug helps it, uh, helps it along, boosts it. And the difference between vaccines and drugs. Yeah, so drugs are intended to treat the infection once it's already happened, whereas vaccines are intended to prevent the infection. Oh, good question. So this is where I'd have to rely on my medicinal chemist friend. So I've got the skills to like take the drug, play with it in the lab, see if it blocks the ability of the virus to enter the cells, see if it binds to the virus, isolate uh, drug resistant mutants. But he's got the computer programs and the, the understanding of chemistry to take this compound and modify it to see if he can change some functional groups on the compound and see if we can make it better. So we started to do that. We haven't yet come up with a compound that is better, um, but he can modify it and see if he can make it work better. Um, ultimately, like if it was great, if we got something that worked in the low nanomolar concentrations, um, ultimately we would partner with a, a company that would bring it into clinical trials. That's far, far in the future. Uh, and I'm not sure that it would ever get to that point, but I'm mostly interested in studying the compound to um, understand how the protein functions.